After living in San Francisco, spending some time in Beijing, and making an Oscar-winning documentary short about the impact of AIDS on children in China, Ruby has recently returned to her native Hong Kong. There, she has been mentoring young filmmakers and journalists in hopes they learn from her how to use visual media to tell their stories and to tackle important issues. Now, now in, in society, I mean, everything is about visual. You, you know, the other uh, still picture or short video to report. And so I think that's, um, it's very important for the Hong Kong young people to document the changes in the society. And I want to be there to hopefully um, mentoring some young filmmakers. Would, they would do, document the change in the, in the community, uh, also political changes, and also tell their own story. That's a um, very, very Hong Kong story. How would you say that things have changed in terms of education, the educational system, which is something that you portrayed just last year in My Voice, My Life? How did that have an influence? Did you go back to teaching and then you decided that you should turn that into a movie? How was the process? Um, I was uh, actually being invited to uh, yeah. Hong Kong U to teach a class. And then, and also the foundation who funded the film and f funded the musical has been talking with me about doing a documentary. So it was all at the same time. Uh, yes, all at the same time. Um, and so when they decided to put on um, a musical, um, and uh, they asked me to direct it and uh, doc document the process, I said, I, I will think about it. And um, then, uh, when I went to see the young people um, uh, rehearsal, um, I saw a group of uh, visual impaired students. Uh, they did their first rehearsal, and I was very moved by their their performance. And also, um, I, I I saw the teacher, who was very very you know, put her heart into teaching these. Uh, kids and they, the the, um, the student, they were not afraid. They were just, you know, trying their best, and and just seeing us, you know, was just what you know, as the best. So there's, I see there's a, a story about the um, inclusion, about how the visual impaired can be included in in the mainstream society. That's part of the story. And also that um, I don't like labels. And I, I mean, my past film, um, most of them were about identity, about um, discrimination, about people were being marginalized. So um, I know that in Hong Kong, when you are not doing well at school, you basically don't have a future uh, in, in, in the society. And there's more and more um, as the case because the competition is so fierce. And so I, I said, this is maybe a good opportunity to, you know, shine some light on the issue. And so, you know, I said yes to the foundation. And we're very fortunate to have the El Plastic Creation Foundation um, uh, as the pro uh, produced the film, and then the Lee Heisen Foundation who funded the film. My Voice, My Life was considered one of Hong Kong's most notable films last year by Wall Street Journal and was picked by film critic societies as one of the 10 best Chinese language films of 2014. The documentary shows why the Hong Kong school system is so competitive, as misfit students from schools with different grades are brought together. Through a natural arrangement, Ruby combines the training, rehearsals, and interviews with kids, teachers, and parents, which allows you to feel the growing confidence. What do you think were some of the limitations that those students had upon them that they were able to overcome after the documentary or in the process? I think they, um, what I find out is that they don't have expectation of themselves. It's just like because they were told with a very young, um, from you know high school or middle school, that 
you are not going to succeed in in life or in society because you don't have a good academic um, uh, you know standing, and so they don't have um, demand or uh, they don't expect something out of themselves because they they deem to fail, and so. Um, the teacher using the musical as a way to motivate them, to build confidence in them. And, and so that six months, even though it's a very short period of time, gave them a lot of um, inspiration uh, or uh, one opened their doors and tell them that you're okay as long as you try your best, as long as you're doing something that, that interests you. There are other ways, you know, besides just studying, uh, besides doing well academically. So I think that's that's the main thing. I think the musical or the documentary helped me to build up my confidence and uh, let me know that um, I can do the things just like the normal people and don't uh, uh, don't limit myself and also I think my relationship with my family is more closer because at first uh, my parents uh, always oppose me to uh, take part in the musical and they prefer me to spend more time to uh, on academic and but after musical uh, Ruby invites my mother to watch the musical and she is very surprised <laughs> and now she is more respects me to join different activities. Because the documentary is about our musical practice so in the practice it's so tough, it's so hard. I just feel like um, I think it's the most difficult things that I have ever done and I'm so happy that I can I try my best to do it I just find out that if I, sometimes I just I limit myself yeah so just people always say just challenge your limit don't limit yourself I saw them um, from being very you know sort of lackadaisical and didn't want to try very hard and the teachers were like yelling at them and, and a teacher was saying, wow, this is the hardest uh, three months we had because, you know, they, are, they were teachers at, uh, teaching at the pretty um, high banding school. They, the, all the students were uh, very, quite well uh, academically. And so for them to teach this group of students is really hard. So they, 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 so the documentary really um, documented the, the whole process about how these teachers pour their hearts into these students and give them opportunity to uh, excel. And so I think that's, that's important.